Hello friends and welcome back to another tips and tricks video. Today we are going to see how we can build a vanilla JavaScript application but with components. So if you've worked with any JavaScript framework before, you know one of the main features that they offer is a component-based programming model. So we see it in Vue.js, in Angular or React or many other JS frameworks. And basically with components, we are able to separate our projects into different parts and then reuse those parts in other places and it's of course easier to maintain but we don't want to learn a whole new framework just because we want to use components so let's see how we can achieve this with vanilla javascript so for this project we are going to just build a simple photo sharing app we're not going to actually have functionalities but mostly going to be ui and we just want to see how we can create our own components. So first, let's create our index.html and let's get the boilerplate. And I'm going to paste some scripts and style sheets here. So first, I'm going to use Tailwind and I'm gonna use the CDN. It's just easier to work with. And then I want to have some icons. So I'm going to use material icons. So I'm gonna copy this link from Google and just paste it here. All right, so let's just start by having a header and inside that header, we will have a nav and then a logo and I'm gonna call it moments. So that's the name of our app, for example. So if I save it and refresh the site, I'm using live server, by the way. Okay, so we will have a div for two buttons. So maybe another A tag and for the class, we can use the material icons and then add the name of the icon we want to use. So in this case, add. And that's what we see on the screen. So I want to have another one and I'm gonna use the menu icon, which is this hamburger icon. That's the items for our nav. I just want to style it now. So for the header, we want to say BG Zinc 900 and a text white. So on the nav itself, I want to set the display to flex, set the justify constant to between and items center there we go let's have some padding that's our nav for the nav link so i will have some classes here padding y1 padding x3 maybe some rounded corners and when we hover over it we want to set the background to zinc 700. now i'm going to copy these classes and paste it down here for the buttons and just add some padding all around so maybe some margin left for the menu that's our header we are done with that one let's go jump to the main tag and this is going to be a card that would contain you know the information about an image so let me make comments here so we will have a div and inside that div we will have the main image so that is going to be an image and for the source of these images i'm going to use this website lauren pixum so this gives us random images which is quite nice and we're just going to copy that link and paste it here so to increase the size we can just change this number for the alt i'm going to say main image so under that image i will have card footer so let me save this one so we see our image there we go now that is going to be a div and inside the card footer we will have a profile section and then the actions section so for the profile i will have a div and inside that i will have another image which is going to have the same source. And for the alt, I'm gonna say profile image. Underneath that image, I will have a P tag that says, for example, the name of the user and then a date. So 25 January, 2024. And we have two images and this is too big. So let's apply some classes here. So for the image, for the profile image, we wanna say width 10, height 10 and rounded full. For the div wrapper of the name and the date, I just wanna say text SM so small and for the username i want to say font medium and for the date we want to say text zinc 600 and let's see how it looks i think that's okay i'm zoomed in here by the way make the text is smaller on the date there we go all right so on the profile wrapper i'm going to add flex and item center and gap two on the card wrapper itself i'm going to apply some classes so some rounded corners and shadow and margin bottom and what else and background white and on the body i just want to have some background zinc 200 so just some background so we can distinguish between the cards and the background now on the main tag i want some padding so padding four and that's our card so we need to set the overflow to hidden for our card so overflow hidden so these you can see it's not rounded up here so if i save this one 
now it's cool so if i zoom out here you can see the image doesn't fill the box so what we can do here on this image just set the width to full and set the object to cover so on the wrapper which is the card footer i'm going to apply some padding now let's get to the actions we will have three buttons that are not doing anything but it's just going to be some icons and we're going to use that material icons again and also make it bigger so text 3xl and for the first one i'm going to use favorite outline which is a heart and then chat bubble outline for the second one so that's kind of a comment thing and i notice here i'm using an equal sign that should be a dash sorry and for the last one we want to use bookmark underscore border so that's the icon we get all right so on the div which is the wrapper for the actions i'm going to apply some classes flex item center and gap four and on the footer again we have this padding i just want to apply flex justify between and items center and that's our card so that is a card that is going to be repeated for as many items as we have for example in our data that we get from an api so those are just examples now let's have a footer too so right under the main tag I will have a footer within that I will have a div which is going to have an h1 that says moments app that is the name of our app and a tagline share your moments with the world and underneath that div I will have the copyright statement so we can use the ampersand copy and then a semicolon and then say 2024 all rights reserved let's apply some styles here so I want to say bg white and again flex justify between items end so this time we want to say items end because we want to be aligned to the bottom and also some padding padding for and I want to set the text to small for the whole thing now for the h1 which is our app name we just want to say font bold now for the p tag which is the copyright statement i want to say text zinc 600 and make it smaller text x s which is extra small now in tailwind if you want to add some arbitrary values and you don't want to use the presets you can pass brackets and then pass the unit you want to apply so 10 pixel for example and there we go it's even smaller and that's it that is our html now we want to see how we can turn this into components and not have everything in one document so i'm going to create a folder here and call it components now within that folder we will have footer.js and header.js of course and then a card.js so those are our components and let's start with the header so back to the header document we want to say const header we want to create a function that would return html and it's going to be an arrow function we want to return html using backticks because we want to press enter here and you know have new lines so with double quotes we can't really do that and then we need to export this so we can use it elsewhere so export default header now i'm going to go to index and grab the header and cut it and paste it here so if I try to format this, it doesn't really work the way I want because Prettier usually doesn't understand this is HTML. So we can add a comment here and say this is HTML. So for example, if I try to break this code and format it, you can see it's formatted differently. So I'm going to copy this whole thing and go to footer, paste it, change the header name to footer. And instead of returning this, we are going to return the footer. So back in index, I'm going to cut this and paste it here so format it that's our code that's our footer we can close it we can close the header actually let's just copy the header again and paste it in the card all right so let's get rid of this html and we just want to change the name to card in our index again we want to grab everything except the main so that main is our only html tag let's paste it here okay so if we save our index now we have only a main tag and nothing on the screen so we want to use this main tag as our root so we can give it an id of root and then create our main js file this is going to be the source file which is in charge of putting everything together so let's link our main js file so i'm going to say script source and it's going to be main js and since we are going to use import we need to set the type to module that's it so we are done with our html so in our main tag let's import the card first and make sure you include the js extension otherwise it's not going to work and i'm going to copy paste that two times and change this to header and this one to footer now let's grab the root element from our dom so we want to say document that get element by id and we called it root so now if i want to add the header i can grab the inner html of root 
and then set it to header of course but this is not exactly what we want we get our navbar up there but it's inside the header so if you inspect the site check out the main element you see the header is inside we want it to go before the main tag so instead of using inner html we can use a function and that is insert adjacent html this function takes two arguments the first one is the position we want to insert the html so in this case we want to say before begin and the second argument is the actual html we want to insert so if i save this one now you can see in the body we have the header before the main tag that's exactly what we want and we want to do the same thing for the footer so root dot insert adjacent html this time we want to say after end so after the tag ends we want to insert the footer so save body and we get our header main footer exactly what we want so the card is actually going to go inside the root element so we can just use inner html and pass that card so you can see this is our application the way we had it before in our HTML but now we are using components so we can easily reuse these components or maintain them now I understand we don't get code highlights in this manner but there are extensions in VS code that can help us with that one I just want to show you that we can do this we don't really need a framework for it all right so let's take this a step further because this is quite easy now I want to have multiple cards so I want to make this card dynamic and let's say we are making an API call and we are getting data from an API which is going to be an array of objects and we will have images we will have users and a date that is going to be created at so for the image let's say I want to grab this one of course and just paste it here for the user we can just just add some name here and the date 25 January 2024. Now I want to use this these values inside the card instead of hard coding it. So let's accept parameters and then use them inside this markup. And since we are using backticks, we can use template syntax. So let's accept an image, a user, and the created add property and change these to that dynamic variables. So image for this one, and I'm just gonna copy this whole thing and paste it down here. For the name, we want to say user, and for the date, we want to say created at. So let's save this one, and we are actually done with this. So we can close the card component. Now in here, since we have an array, we can loop over it and create a card for each object. I want to say data, which is our array, then use the for each function and then for each element in that array we want to set the root inner html to card but we want to say plus equal to so we want to add to it not just one even though we have one so if i add more it's going to be added to the list instead of replacing it but this card now is expecting arguments so let's say element image element user and element created at so these properties right so if i save this one now we get our card but we don't see much difference because we have only one element so we can duplicate this but before i do that i just want to add a string here and that is random equal to one so i just want to get random images not the same image now let's copy this thing and i'm going to paste it two times let's change some of these values so maybe 10 doesn't really matter just want to change these things around all right so you can see and i'm changing the random number here so i get a different image so now all i have to do save my document save we get three images or three cards with those information and all we had to do here just have one card component and then insert it using a for each and there we go that's our application that's our website so you can see how easy it is to make a component using just javascript and that's all guys i hope you enjoyed it and it has been helpful i want to thank you all for your likes views shares subscribe and everything and i'll catch you at the next one thanks for watching bye bye